knowing the right elements to use for your amazon kdp business not only increases your credibility as an author but also skyrockets your sales as a publisher in this video i'm going to be showing you the right paper size to use for your specific niche that will help skyrocket your sales even as a newbie or a professional publisher if this is your first time on my channel you're welcome i'm value bank and all i do every day is to bring to you time tested proven methods and ways you can use to gain financial freedom here on the online space through vehicles like amazon kdp sales and marketing and content creation if you are a returning subscriber thank you thank you for liking my videos and supporting my channel without wasting much time let's get right into this video now to actually start any research on amazon kdp all you need to do is to switch on your incognito mode make sure that you are your in your incognito mode now this is your incognito mode okay now you just come to the browser and for example we are you want you want to do a research on the best selling cookbooks uh you want to look for a topic to write about on cookbooks all you need to do is to go through the best sellers on that niche so you just come to the search bar on your incognito mode and type best selling cookbooks on amazon then click on it it will load up to google like this then look for the one that has zgbs this zgbs digital text this zgbs books now click on the one that you are seeing books okay now when you come to the amazon website the first thing you need to change is your address you want anything that you'll be researching on or searching for should be related to the u.s because that is where the majority of your sales is coming from you get so change your address to u.s address now for example let's say let's search for a topic diabetic diet let's say diet cookbook okay this is it here so you click on it so you are seeing that this topic is having 30,000 results that means 30,000 people have actually written a book on this topic now this is not what we are looking for this is not what we want to talk about today now if you actually want to watch a video on how to get profitable topics especially on cookbooks profitable selling unlimited profitable topics on kdp that you will write about i will link i did a video on how to get profitable topics with ChatGPT and other four methods so i will link the video in the description down below so that you actually go and watch that video and actually benefit from it so when you actually come to these points now you are seeing these are the books that have been written on this topic you get now what is the paper size that these people are actually using to sell their books if you are seeing you are seeing that the books that have been written on this topic are actually doing well you see the reviews and one of the elements to actually know that a book is doing well is through the reviews and the best seller rank you see the best seller rank 1100 300 and something but the book is still doing well you get 2000 best seller rank but this book is still doing well you see that the books on these topics they are selling you get so what you want to know is the paper size these people are using because there is a specific reason why they are using that particular paper size for this particular niche because you can't use any paper size for just any niche you have to make sure that a particular paper size is being used for a particular niche for example if you are in the self-help niche you understand you don't use the same paper size as someone that is on doing cookbooks or doing health or someone that is writing educational books like you get so all you need to do to know the paper size these guys are using is just click on it first of all you have to install your amazon quick view 
it will help you show details of any book just by hovering on that book like this so when you hover on this book now you know the you it will show you the exact paper size the book dimension that this author actually use for their book now you, as i'm hovering here you actually seeing the dimension which is the paper size of the book 7.5 by 9 points something you get so this is the paper size of the book now for you to know the best paper size to use is to just check for many of the books and when you see the most reoccurring paper size you know okay this paper size is particularly good for this niche now when you come to hover on this the complete diabetic cookbook for beginners you see that this auto actually used 8.5 by 11 you come to this one 8.5 by 10 you get just screw down 8.5 by 11 screw down again 8.5 by 11 screw down again 8.5 by 11 you screw down again you see 7.5 by 9.25 you get you screw down 7.39 point something 8.5 by 11 8.5 by 11 8.5 by 11 now with this you know that the reoccurring paper size with cookbooks are 8.5 by 11 and what you also notice again you are not seeing 5.5 by 8.5 now i'm not saying that there are no books on 5.5 by 8.5 but for you to actually sell on cookbook on cookbooks or on amazon you have to know what works you understand and follow what works you don't come on amazon and just do what you feel like you get you come on amazon and actually model what works because that is what what is working on amazon you get so amazon you don't actually do the amazon kdp business with emotions you get okay this is the paper size i would like to use i am okay with you don't do things on kdp with what you are okay with it's what the market wants you understand what is currently selling now if for example a book that is paper size of 5.5 .5 and a book that is paper size 5.5 by 8.5 and a book that is 8.5 by 11 one thing you will know that they are not the same size and if, if a book that is 5.5 by 8.5 actually appears here the designs will be small now these designs that you actually see here are visible now but if imagine that you write a topic and your own book is here that these ones that are 8.5 by 11 are here you understand you see that your design will be very small theirs will be very visible and what the customer wants to see is what is catchy you understand because your own is small people can't see it now this is not all the variables that can help your book sell you have to first of all you can have the biggest paper size if you don't know how to rank your book on the first page it will not make sales you understand so there are other dimension and other var variables that actually make sure that you make sales on kdp but this paper size is very important if you are in the travel you have to know what paper size these guys are actually using to make sales to kill the sales on that niche if you are in the cookbook niche you have to know the paper size that these guys are actually using to kill you understand the sales on that niche you get so i went on to amazon to actually uh, to google to search for the best paper size to use you get on cookbooks okay this for self-help now this is for cookbooks 8.5 times by 8.5 11 by 11 inches now when you screw down what is the standard size for a cookbook you will see here that 8.5 by 11 is the standard size for a cookbook you get because people can see your book more you know that uh, one thing you have to understand cookbooks are not being read on plane cookbooks are not being read on buses cookbooks are not being read on the park or anything like that you read your cookbook in the kitchen where you want to use the instructions to make your meal you get so this is a secret that you should understand 
so if you are in any niche you have to understand the elements that make you sell your book it is not just about creating a book but it is about creating a book with the element that works on amazon that will make you sell you get these things are updates that you need to know and this is what this channel is all about giving you updates that will actually help you increase your kdp sales and make sure that there is that cash under your dashboard you get so this is what this channel is actually created for i know that you're actually getting value from this video right now all i want you to do for me is to make sure you like this video there is a video i want to do this week and that is one of the like the most pressing issues that people are having on kdp how to rank your book on first page you know that if you don't rank your book on first page like, like if you have if you like have the best uh what is it called formatting have all the best uh, book cover have the best bonuses in your book if you can't rank your book you won't make the sales because your book has to actually make movement for you to make sales and that is what i will be dropping this week before this week runs out i'll make sure that i actually do that video it's a secret that you need to know you need to know how to rank your book before you make sales on kdp people has to see your book and just by actually giving this video a like if this video actually gets a hundred like i'll make that video this week if it doesn't get a hundred like i'll be thinking about it but the truth is i want to make that video this week so i want you to actually like this video like it so that people will know and actually get these updates also other online cousins will actually get these updates also and make sure you subscribe to the value bank youtube channel so that you are you can also become a family here a value bank family here so thank you so much let's get into the video again now this is for self-help i also research on self-help what is the right paper size for a self-help book this is what i actually searched on google and you are saying that when formatting your self-help book consider these factors paper size choose the paper size you prefer at now at 24 hour books the most popular paper size is 8.5 by 9 inches what is the best paper size for self-help books let me see on amazon The most trim size for books in the US is 6x9 and it's a regular trim when setting up your book. This is the defute. You understand? So you are actually seeing 6x9, you are seeing 8.5. So if you are into the self health niche, you know that if you should be doing a book, you should be, in the, be doing a book 8.5 by 11 you feel your book should be around 5.5 by 8.5 and 6 by 9 you understand so these are the secrets that you are actually supposed to know about to help you increase sales on kdp you understand so knowing the right paper size is a key for you to making sales on kdp because you can actually beat competition with that now if you are actually into self-help and you're actually doing a book that is 8.5 by 11 it will be very difficult for you to make sales because these people can actually carry these books around because it's very big you understand self-help books are normally books that you can carry around anywhere and you can read it in the bus you can read it in a car you can read it on the park you can read it on a plane so you don't want to carry something that is very large now because for the cool book niche this books has to be large because of what these people want to see their recipes clearly they want to see the image you're actually talking about clearly clearly specific for that uh, specific recipe you understand so they want to see this clearly and they are reading this stuff in the kitchen when they want to make the delicious recipe that you the author have actually provided for them you get but and one thing i will also make again if you are into the cookbook niche it doesn't mean that creating a book of 5.5 by 8.5 you won't sell your book you get you will sell if you understand keyword research but when it comes to what is working already on Amazon now 
8.5 by 11 actually has it you understand now if you're actually someone that is doing short books you can go with 5.5 by 8.5 you understand because the book won't be too much so you won't want to for example you are making a book of 50 page you get you won't want to actually do that on 8.5 by 11 you want to actually do that on 5.5 by 8.5 you understand to actually increase the number of your books to make it relevant and bulky to make sure that okay your book has quality inside of it you get and so this is what this secret is all about so i don't want to actually talk much so this is actually what i want to review to us today so thank you so much for actually watching this video i really really do appreciate that you call you came to my channel to actually watch this video so this is what this channel is all about so all i actually want you to do now is to make sure you like this video like this video like this video you get it will actually help people see this video more it will help youtube actually recommend this video to more people and one of the visions that i have in this channel is to help 1 million people in the next five years gain financial freedom through online vehicles like amazon kdp sales and marketing and content creation so by liking this video and subscribing to my channel and leaving a comment down below like if you have any pressing question on kdp just leave a question down below i will respond to all your comments do you understand so please and please make sure you like this video and i'll actually see you on the next one God bless you. As always, I'll be rooting for you from afar. Thank you.